Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today is officially the first day that I went out scouting. I'm coming to this one spot back when I first start uh, deer hunting, and my dad took me here. Uh, long story short, um, I saw a buck, but I didn't get to shoot it. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna walk all the way down here i say about a good, I think at least half a mile or a mile down. Um, I want to check on a trail and see if there's any first sign of deer moving down there. Uh, pretty much down here. Uh, there's three trails that comes from up here. And they all meet down there at one point. And I just want to check and see if it's any promising. Maybe that would be my first day of archery season I'm a little loud but I don't care I'm just here to uh, look up the stuff so I'm just walk down here but I'm gonna take this and walk all the way down there I'm gonna keep going all the way down uh, about another half a mile down all the way down there well let me tell you guys about a funny story about this particular spot uh, it was when I first, so I think like first week or second week of deer season and my dad took me out here hunting. Uh, it was during a rainy day and he said, you know what, if you want to shoot, here's a spot for you, but you have to hike all the way down. So I said, you know what, uh, let's do it. I want a deer, so I wanted to hike anywhere, just kill deer. Um, he dropped me off here three... I think 4 a.m. in the morning, pitch black. Pitch black down there, here. And he said, okay, so get off here. Just walk down there. you probably see like a dry creek. Just keep walking, follow the, the little dry creek. Keep going down about a mile, or maybe half a mile, or close to it. And then you will come to a river. What you want to do is find the best spot that can control all three side and I said okay sounds simple enough but uh, it's not as easy as it sounds I me mean, walking later 3 a.m. in the morning pitch black with just a flashlight with my um, browning rifle backpack some food I'm just trying to find a spot that's pretty hard so I just keep on walking as I keep walking down here, I was like, man, it's a long hike. How the heck am I going to find my way back up? Because as you, I've never been here before, so I have no clue how to get back up. You know, walking the, in the daytime is completely different from walking at night. But anyway, I want a deer, so I, so I say, let's, I, I commit, I'm committed to what I'm doing. So I walk all the way down here. Took me a while, but I'll be honest, I was a little scared because this is unfamiliar territory for me, and I don't do unfamiliar territory that well. I like to at least scout it out, know where I'm going first before I actually go on a hunting a hunting place. I don't know where I'm gonna go. So, but took me a while to get up here, I mean to get down here. Well, uh, oh. oh yeah, that was my first experience. I'll tell you more about my first encounter in deer down here. A nice, I'll probably say a good three by three bucks came down here during the heavy rain. But I wasn't good enough and I missed it. 
I'll tell you more as I get down there. This here is pretty steep. I gotta be careful not to injure myself. I'm just here for a hike, not well, here for scouting in hike, nothing else. <clears throat> nice, nah, easy to look. It is hot. Not an ideal time for uh, hunting for sure. Still got a long hike to go. Oh, oh careful. Man. It's been a while since I came down here. It looks a little different than before. I don't, I'm not really fond of hunting down hills. I like to hunt uphill most of the time. Just make it so much easier for me if I ever do kill deer. I can just drag it down. Unlike down here, if I ever do kill a deer, I have to pack it up. I have to pack it and make multiple trips just to get up here. Oh, I think I'm getting close. I'm getting close. Yep. I can hear the water. I can hear the water for sure. So, looks like a deer definitely came in here. Probably a small deer, a bedding place down here for sure. Uh, yep, small little bedding here. Well, here's another bedding spot right here for deer. Oh, definitely. I don't know if you can see this, but looks like definitely a few small deer that has been bedding down here for sure. Um, a little bit old, not as fresh as I thought it would be, but for sure this sign, I can't tell if it's a big bug or not, but definitely some. Okay, so <clears throat> here's a little story of my first ever encounter bucks. <sighs> been a while uh, I think long time anyway I was staying at that particular spot right between all three of these trees I wasn't this big yet my first time ever deer hunting 
Um, I have no clue what I'm doing. I was, I was not fully prepared at all. So I was drenched and wet. I was sitting here and as I look up, three by three or bigger, and they walk along the trail here. We walk really slow and somehow it stopped but right where all those little smaller trees was blocking it and just stood there, turned around, look at me and I got my guns completely ready, point at him, waiting for him to come to um, this particular spot that's which is more clear if he come down here. I have a great chance of shooting. Uh, he probably sniffed me out, sit there for a little bit, turn his head, look at me, get a little sniff, and then instead of coming straight down, he just make a left and went onto the other side of the uh, hills. I was so mad. I was like, oh my god, this is the first big buck ever that I've seen, and I, and I really want to kill it. But nope, I missed it. You know, thinking back, I'd probably make a lot of mistakes. First mistake, I was moving way too much. I was moving way too much with that little poncho on top of me. Uh, that didn't help. Up to this day, that's, on, that's the only bug that I think of. I said, man, I just keep wondering how big is that bug if I were able to kill it. You know, your first bug, you always miss the most. That was the first encounter bug that I saw. And it still haunts me until this day. No matter, you know, what size of buck I kill, you know, I went anything for a forking horn to a 4x4, four four, even a 4x5. Four I still think about this buck. <laughs> uh, just funny, you know, you just think about, oh man, missed opportunity right there. Such a great missed opportunity. But yeah, it was a great experience. <clears throat> I'm already down here, so. Might as well go and give me some fresh water. If I can get all the way down there. So it looks like there's not, not much of a foot traffic in here like I thought it would be. Uh, all three of the trails are pretty old. Uh, no sign of movement down here at all. So it's still way too early in the season. Let me show you the trail that I was talking about. So this is probably like a footprint, really old right now. Uh, this is for one of the main trail all the way so straight what is it straight here all the way up you go straight all the way up there you keep going up and then if you come towards this side you also have another that Come from here, move here, go all the way up here, and it kind of goes around, it follows the stream down a little bit over here. You go about probably like a quarter mile down there, and then from that quarter mile, it goes up on top of the hill, and then just keep on going all the way up to as well. And you also have one trail over here as well, same thing. Follow this trail here, but if you take this, then just kind of cut up all the way up there. So pretty much reason why I like to uh, come down here because you basically have three trail coming down and meet at this particular spot. And from this spot on, you just cut across here and just go all the way up there.
Oh, by the way, no squirrel. No sign of any activity down here for squirrel either. So, this will not be a spot that I'll be hunting for archery season. I might go to some different place. Whew. Out of shape. <laughs> I'm so out of shape. Let me get back. Let me start riding bikes again. Get myself back into shape. Oh. Nothing. No activity. It's a decent sized bedding. <sighs> oh, <sighs> this bed is low. Oh. Oh, I made it to the top. Oh, what a long hike. Reason why I don't hunt downhill. Just imagine packing a backpack full of meat going up this hill. It's exhausting. Let me check out over there and see anything. Do a little more hike towards that way.